Clark was born January 16, 1779, to Robert and Susanna Clark in Bedford County, Virginia. They moved to Clark County, Kentucky when James was young. He received his education there and was taught by a future Transylvania professor, Dr. James Blythe, and attended Pisgah Academy. He went to Virginia to study law with his brother and then came back to Winchester and established a successful law practice. He married Susan Forsyth in 1809, and they had four children. Clark was elected to the Kentucky House of Representatives in 1807 and 1808. He was appointed to the Court of Appeals in 1810 through 1812. He was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1812 and 1814. He was appointed to the State Circuit Court in 1817 and rendered a major decision in Williams v. Blair in 1822. This affected the Pevlin Law which affected debtors. His ruling was unpopular with the Relief Party, and they tried to force him out of office. The state Supreme Court upheld his decision in 1823. Clark was elected again to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1825 through 31. In 1825, his wife Susan died, and on March 3, 1829, he remarried Margaret Buckner Thornton. In 1832, he moved back to the Kentucky Senate, in 1835, he became the Speaker of the Senate. With Henry Clay, he helped organize the Whig Party. And after James Moorhead declined the nomination for re-election to governor, Clark was nominated for governor by the Whig Party and defeated Matthew Flannery by 8,000 votes. James Clark was elected the 13th governor of Kentucky. He had many items on his agenda for his term as governor. He wanted to strengthen the auditor's office with sound financing, change the criminal code to crack down on crime, he wanted to decrease the number of fugitive slaves, and he wanted to establish a public school system in every county. The General Assembly approved of a state board of education, state superintendent for public education, and county commissions. They also took action on decreasing fugitive slaves by enacting more measures. Clark also tried to gain leverage over abolitionists by seeking authority to stop them from printing propaganda. The Assembly did not grant him this authority, because of the right of freedom of speech. He died in office on August 27, 1839, and is buried in Winchester. I hope you've enjoyed learning about James Clark. He was Kentucky's 13th governor, and he was the third governor to die in office. He accomplished a lot during his brief time in office. However, his pro-slavery views diminish his accomplishments. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and share this video in the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky History content. If you feel like it and want more history content, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod and on Instagram at Kentucky History Podcast. And don't forget to check out Kentucky History Podcast for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.